What is up, everybody? John Hammond here, still looking at some of the Google Capture the Flag competition and uh, the Beginner's Quest content. So before we jump into that, quick shout out to Live Overflow, who is another awesome YouTuber, um, does the same cybersecurity, capture the flag, hacking content stuff that I do, uh, and he was willing to play and take a look at the Google CTF with me just past weekend. Uh, he looked at some of the legitimate hardcore challenges. Um, Google CTF puts out some <laughs> significant brain teasers and, and uh, pretty difficult challenges for a capture the flag competition stuff that's over my head but we took a gander at one of the web challenges js safe 2.0 uh and he was able to solve it he did some really awesome reverse engineering work with it and debugging and cool cool stuff um so props to him um and hopefully we'll be able to cover some more video content together um but if you haven't seen him before check him out on youtube subscribe to his stuff and uh we'll work together soon so Let's go back to Google Capture the Flag, a little bit of the beginner's quest. I'll showcase what I can here. And let's move to one of the later miscellaneous challenges up at the top here after that path has opened up. This challenge is called OCR is Cool. Um, Caesar once said, don't stab me, but taking a screenshot of an image sure feels like being stabbed. You connect to a VNC server on the Fubonizer 9000, it was view only. Screenshot is all that was present, but it's gibberish. Can you recover the original text? So, let's go ahead and download this attachment, see what we've got to work with. I'm working in a uh, my own directory here, GCTF, um, and let's call this OCR is cool to match the challenge prompt, that challenge here, and let's actually get a command line open so we can work with this. Let's get into OCR is cool. Looks like we have another hash file name here. It's a zip archive, so let's move that to um, OCR.zip, unzip it, and now we've got ocrscool.png. Let's see what this file is. It looks like a Gmail email. So, okay, Google Mail email. Um, your iDrop drive is ready. The content of this email looks like gibberish, just like the challenge said. Um, I don't know why or how. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look here and figure out what this thing really is. OCR reference, that, that challenge title and that, that challenge prompt is uh, a note and a nod towards the optical character recognition. So from an image being able to read out some of the plain text characters. So my methodology for challenge like this is for one thing, get the image really, really big. Um, that way you can get better OCR or better optical character recognition. Um, Right now, this is 1919 by 1079. So 1,919 characters by 1,079 characters. Not that huge. Um, so what I like to do is I like to use the convert command from the image magic suite, and I'll convert that original image. OCR is cool. And I'll scale it, like tax scale, and I'll make it like 200% or 300%. I don't know. Let's see what we go. Let's see how we do with like output, output.png. It needs a... Needs a saving file name, and that might take a second, but now we have output.png, which is significantly larger, right? But it's still the same image, just scaled to be a lot larger. So now we can run an OCR program, and a good command line one that I know on Linux is called Tesseract. Um, if you don't have it installed, I think you can sudo apt install like Tesseract tac OCR, I think is a package name. Got to admit, I don't know. Um, but if you try to type Tesseract, it may be able to recommend it for you. So I can type Tesseract on output.png, and this says it needs a image name and an output base. So let's call it like out, and it will run. It may take a little bit of time, but once we're done, that output base name, in this case I just specified out, should be filled or created with a out.text. Um, and again, this will take longer depending on the size of the image, but if you give it a good image with some high definition characters, hopefully you'll get a better quality OCR process. So now we see we have an out.text file. Let's try and view it, cat out.text. And this probably has some errors, right? I see compose, that works well, your I drew us ready inbox. Some of these words aren't all coming through correctly. Dump drive, blah, blah, blah. So not the best results, but something we can still work with, I guess. Um, 
I wonder what this thing is, right? The challenge prompt here, when we looked at Firefox, said Caesar, so maybe this is a Caesar cipher. Um, I tried to pipe this to rot13, which is a command line program that's installed um, when you sudo apt install bsd games. And if you actually look at the man page for it, it gives you a note that you also have another program like Caesar, which will give you an, let you use an argument for the number of rotations that you want to use here. So it will try and do a Caesar cipher. It attempts to decrypt Caesar ciphers using the English letter of frequency statistics. Caesar reads from centered input and writes to centered output. So we can use that program Caesar if we wanted to. Let's pipe this to rot13, see if we get any results. Looks like not. Whatever. Okay, so let's try and bring it to Caesar. Caesar 1. Still looks like nonsense. Caesar 2. Still looks like nonsense, etc. Um, let's try and bring this through a loop through all of the possible letters and let's see if we can get anything. So what I did is a 4i in and then I use my curly braces and I go 0 dot dot 26. So the alphabet's 26 characters long. Do cat out dot text. And if we'd done this right now, it looks like it'll run through 26 times. I'm trying to cat out that that thing. But let's pipe that into Caesar dollar sign I. So if we want to, we can echo um, inside of our do, right? Because that's the noting our code block. Echo I dot 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 dot. So we have a note of what iteration we're actually on. And let's less this so we can start to look through. Zero, obviously not going to do much. Um, one, not going to do much. We can, if we'd like, to forward slash dot 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 dot, so we can... Oh, that was probably a bad key to use, because that will match just about anything. So, let's change this to... Um, hyphen, 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 hyphen. Cool. So now we can search for hyphens, 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 and we'll jump over and over again to the next iteration. 4 still looks like nothing, 5 still looks like nothing, 6 still looks like nothing, 7, I'm starting to see some English words here. We happy to welcome PP, that's not real English, but we're our newest cloud, maybe file sharing, place, blah, blah, blah. So, so wherever you go, your files follow. Oh! You can quickly there's this there's a flag. There what there is what looks like a flag here. Um Okay, so we can determine that that is the key or is the Caesar cipher number that we want to use, so seven, and we have the actual flag that we can grip or we can we can observe out of the image. So if I were to EOG the OCR is cool here. We can zoom around, okay, and that, this text, VMY, inside the curly braces, must be what we're actually going to work with. So, let's background that so we can see it. Let's get nano open side by side, flag dot Caesar, and we can, if we wanted to, write that out, if you want to do it by hand. Not the best methodology, because we want to do that all by C, uh, OCR, but if we the flag honestly isn't going to be too long, so it'll be okay for us to try and type that out. Um, at least I say that as I'm trying to <laughs> say some filler, <laughs> filler statements, so I can actually type this all out. But now if we cat flag.caesar into caesar, seven, because we know that's the key, it says CTF, Caesar Cipher is a substitution cipher. So we finally got the flag just like that. Cool. Again, this one's kind of hard to automate, so I didn't create a, uh, a get flag script for this when I was playing the game, but that methodology is what I used. I can jot that down in like a solution.txt if I wanted to, to maybe create a write-up later on. But that is how I solved that challenge. Um, I kind of looked through, okay, what text can I get out with OCR, um, looking at Caesar ciphers or possible keys for Caesar cipher, um, and then found the flag and tried to ease it out on my own just like that. Cool. Let's mark this challenge as complete. And uh, 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this and hope you're enjoying some of these videos. Um, I know it is the beginner's quest, so it's not the hardcore real stuff of the Google Capture the Flag, but hey, we're all beginners in some way. We're all starting to learn, and uh, that's what's important, learning, getting better. So uh, another shout-out to Live Overflow. Please check out some of his content. He's a really cool guy, um, and hopefully we'll be able to do more collaborative stuff pretty soon. Check out his channel. You totally should. Hey, if you'd like this video, please click that like button. Uh, if you'd like to leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Please do. If you're willing to subscribe, I would... Thanks again. See you soon.